Hey guys, I uh, just want to do another quick video. Um, today I wanted to talk about pawpaws. Um, if you're not familiar with pawpaws, these are my pawpaws that I bought last year. I paid twenty dollars for this pail, and it has three of them in it: one there, one here, one here. Some people don't know that's the largest native fruit. To us, I mean, this thing's been around since, uh, I guess, the 1500s. Um, it's also a natural pesticide. Uh, bugs really don't like to eat it or nothing because the bark in the in the wood has natural pesticides in it. Deer will not eat this, but it looks like caterpillars will because it looks like caterpillar damage. But yeah, so check it out. Shake your paw paw, shake your paw paw, shake your paw paw. Yeah, I wanted to show you this. Um, you see all that stuff growing in there like that? I just left it. All that stuff was in there when I bought it. I just left it. This thing, I don't have a clue what it is. But it's growing in there. And you see it has all these seeds. If anybody knows what this is, leave me a comment down below and let me know what it is. Um, it has all kinds of seeds. It doesn't seem to be affecting the pawpaw at all. Um, it may be a nitrogen fixer. So I'm going to let it grow. It's really wet right now and heavy. I'm going to let it grow. And you see how many seeds are all over. I'm going to harvest these seeds. So that way once I do figure out what it is. If it's a nitrogen fixer. I'll be able to use it in some of the other plants. So I'm going to put some uh, pictures in here to show you what the flowers are. What they look like. I'll also put pictures in of what the fruit looks like. So that'll be cool too. Uh, if you guys don't know about Pawpaws, go look them up. You know, I went and looked them up a lot, so that way I'd have a lot of information for you guys. But unfortunately, I've had a lot of head injuries, so I have a hard time retaining information. So that's the main reason why I use YouTube, because I like to be able to see what's going on. Uh, if I read it, I'll have to read it multiple times, and then I still lose the information. But go look up Pawpaws. I'll find a, a good video and put it down in the description. So check out a Pawpaw. Think about a Pawpaw. You won't find these in the store uh, because normally when these things grow like this, it, this won't be big enough to hold fruit until it's at least six foot tall. And depending on, you can go and you can pull these out of the ground. Say you find a, a patch of pawpaws. They have what are suckers that grow off. A lot of times people think they can dig those up and replant them. But the problem is, is pawpaws, when they grow from seed, they have a really long taproot. And that's what grows first. That's why it takes so long to germinate the seed. But they are a seed that you have to put in the refrigerator. Um, just go check out pawpaws. You know, I, I, I can't tell you everything about it. But um, you can't sell them in the grocery store because once they do fruit and the fruit are nice, ready to pick, and you pick them off, day or two, and they're done. I mean, they bruise really easy, and they ripen really fast. So, I mean... For them to be hauled across country everywhere to go in your grocery stores, things like that. It just doesn't happen. You you don't see them around. Um, more and more now, there's a few states that have festivals, which is kind of cool. And I guess one of the best things to do with these fruit is to make uh, ice cream. Because you can freeze the, the pulp and everything in it. But yeah, guys. I wanted to share a little pawpaw with you. It's not very big, but... Like I say, there's three of them in here because uh, when they do grow up, you want good pollination. Um, the flowers on these are awesome. Like I said, I, I put the picture up, but they stink really bad. I guess they're supposed to stink because the way that pawpaws are pollinated are from beetles and flies. There used to be old-time farmers that would actually, in their pawpaw patches, they would get roadkill off the side of the road and they would hang it up in the middle of the tree to attract more flies and stuff 
for better pollination. Um, I don't think I'll do that, but I thought about making like everybody makes the little uh, buckets with the holes in it and puts the rotten meat in there to make larvae and maggots and stuff for your chickens. I mean, you could always do that same thing and hang it in the middle of one of these trees, and I think it would work. So, yeah, guys, these are my pawpaws. If you got pawpaws, shake your pawpaws. I just knock off the excess water before the sun comes around and burns the leaves. This is actually right under an eave of a gutter there. Now, this, when it rains, it fills this barrel. It'll fill this up. There's no holes in this. Pawpaws love water. They love the water. I don't know if that, maybe that's why it's doing so well. But normally they have a long taproot. People talk about letting the taproot go like 9, 10 inches. You know, this is a very big pot at all. And I'm a little nervous at this point to transplant it because it's doing so well. So I'm going to go ahead and just let it do its thing. You know, it's another one of those set it and forget it. And yeah. And right next to this, I have the willows. Those willows that I update here and there. I got videos on them. I took clones of. I mean, these things are doing amazing and again in a 50 cent walmart reusable grocery shopping bag all right guys like always don't forget to like share comment let me know what this thing is and share let's get you know let's get some of these videos out really struggling on my watch time right now. So thanks guys. Bye.